Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. My name is Do Cigars. Today we're going to do a special episode, so uh, let's light one up. As you might have already seen in the title, this episode is going to be about the new Monte Cristo 1935. Despite of what a lot of people think, this is not a special edition or limited or anything like that. This will be their latest and uh, best regular production cigar. The name 1935 is of course uh, the year that they started Monte Cristo and uh, all the three cigars, because there are three series, they all have different names. Um, I think the best way to, to describe this cigar is, um, the position of this cigar is like, this will be the Bejica of Monte Cristo. This should be the most expensive regular cigar that they will produce. Bejica is like the top line of Cohiba. They have a special um, beautiful box and the cigars look better and they are very expensive. Uh, this will be the same with the Monte Cristo. They have a different style of box. Uh, the cigars are well, quite pricey, not even close to the Bejica. But for a Monte Cristo, for a regular production, they have a hasty price and also a different style band on them. So, uh, let me first show you what the box sort of looks like. I just got three singles because I'm not really sure about the cigar yet. So I didn't buy any boxes yet. But I have here a box of the Monte Cristo 80 years anniversary, anniversario, sorry. And uh, it's quite a similar box. Also, a uh, shiny brown box looks very fancy. Looks way better than the normal boxes. So, uh, this entire series has the same type of boxes. Well, here are the three cigars. Uh, like I said, three different sizes. Uh, we're starting with the smallest one, is the Dumas. I'm probably not announcing everything right, but hey. The Dumas, that's this one. Uh, this has a ring gauge of 49. It is, and it is 130 millimeters long. So it is a decent sized cigar. Then we have the bigger one. That is the uh, Maltes. Then we have the bigger one. This is the mid-size and we call it, they call it the Maltes. It has a ring gauge of 53 and it is uh, just a little bit over 15 centimeters long. It's getting better. Oh, by the way, uh, the smallest one goes for around the 16 euros. Uh, the mid-size one, the Maltes, goes for around the 20 euros. And then we have the biggest of them all and it's the Leande, 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 Leanda. Something like that. Um, it has a ring gauge of 55 and is uh, 165 millimeters long. I'm a big fan of this, uh, this size, definitely. It looks very good. It smells... It smells very good. Uh, this cigar is priced at a good 24 euros. So like I said, for a regular production cigar, they're not cheap. If you buy the Trio, you're spending over 60 euros for them. So, it better be a very good cigar. Uh, they come in boxes of 20, so it is not a cheap purchase uh, if you want the big ones. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm going to smoke it. To see if it's something that is really worth buying, is worth collecting or worth uh, selling in, in the future. So, uh, I'm not going to smoke all the three cigars right now, because that will take a lot of time. It will be a very long episode. I'm not going to bother everybody with it. So, I think I'm going to start with the smaller one. I'm now going uh, to some friends. I'm going to smoke it there. And I'm probably going to smoke the big one or the mid-size tonight. And then maybe I will try to do the video again tomorrow with the one that is left. And I will give you guys a uh, yeah some feedback on the cigars. I don't think it's worth to do three different episodes because, yeah, well, they're probably going to be quite similar. So, let's see how that goes. Yeah, time to enjoy the small one. So, it's time to smoke the last one. I'm in a little bit different setting right now. I'm uh, in the forest right behind my, my house. I thought this would be a nice place with this weather to have a morning cigar and a morning coffee in the woods. Um, I've smoked the first two, the, the smallest one and the middle one. Um, 
Well, let me light this one and tell you a little bit more of what my experience was. First off, I have to get off this, this, this triple band thing. Oh, finally. The other two were, were glued on. So I, every time, oh wait, yeah, maybe you can see it. You can see it ruined the food. The other two, same problem. They were glued on too tight. I couldn't even get them off like this. I had to, to take them off the other way and, and it just ruined the leaf. I'm not a fan of the triple band. For shipping and everything, it is fine. Absolutely, it won't damage the food. But for the consumer like this, no, I don't need that third band. I'm gonna use the V cutter. Nice clean cut. Oh, by the way, if this video gets interrupted and you see me running or anything, there is literally like, like uh, 20 meters behind me, there's a wild hawk. So you might hear him. Let's hope he stays there. Let's hope he's not a fan of cigars. So of course, of course, we're gonna burn the food a little bit. Twist it up a little bit with this ring gauge. You really need a jet, light, a jet flame. So, don't, don't push the lighter up against it, just a nice distance. Now it's black and a little bit ashy, so you know it's warm enough. By the way, for a cigar that needs to be the top line of the brand, the cigar looks very ugly. The wrapper. If you, I, I know you can't compare the cigar with a Behike. Of course, it is a completely different price range. The most expensive one of these is even way more cheaper than the, the cheapest Behike. <clears throat> but still, with this cigar, they try to make a top, uh, top cigar for their line, for their brand. So you would expect yeah, the highest, the, the most beautiful wrappers they can get for it, but no. Like I already said, I like the size, I like the ring gauge, the draw, spot on. Hmm. Thus far, not a, not a very good taste. This is definitely on the stronger side. For a morning cigar, I don't think this is for everybody in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to get some coffee now. Let's see if it, how that pairs. But yeah, I'm going to drink some coffee, smoke it a little bit further, and then I will give you an update on how this is so far and I will tell you about the other two. Yeah. So, I wanted to get back to you at the halfway point but I got a, bit, a little bit later. So far, the best out of three. Definitely. Uh, not only because of the size but definitely also because of the taste. I do have to say the cigar had a lot of cracks coming out when burning it. It is just not a beautiful cigar that you would expect for that money and expect for a, a high-end line that they're making with this cigar. You would expect that, that to be a little bit better. But from the three cigars, this is, like I said, the best one. The first one I had was the smallest one and I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it at all. Maybe at the, maybe at the very end I was a little bit of taste like this is nice, but that was just at the end. The rest of the cigar wasn't that good. And for a 16 euro small cigar, that shouldn't be happening. So, not a fan. The middle size, that, that became a lot better. Uh, I actually enjoyed it. Um, uh, also, the size is nice. That was just, just a good cigar. Uh, but price-wise, just over 20 euros is a lot of money for that cigar. You can buy a lot lot better cigars for that, for that money, Cuban cigars. 
and now the big one. So with a price of uh, just over 24 euros, you would expect a very, very good cigar. Um, it is a good cigar. I, I really enjoyed it. The first bit was very bitter. I didn't like it. Uh, the, the rest of the cigar thus far, very good. But let's be honest, guys. If a cigar like this one, the Bolivar Libertador, La Casa Edition, is uh, 16 euros, almost the same size, well, just a little bit thinner, but same size in, in length, a better cigar. Um, the 80 years Anniversario, also from Monte Cristo, also a cigar that, that will be on the market for a lo very long time. Cheaper, I think it's around 22 euros in, in Holland, better cigar. And if you look at a cigar that is exactly the same price, almost exactly the same price, we're looking at some of the Swiss regional editions, better cigars. So maybe with a little with a bit more aging on it because it has a lot of taste. It is a full body cigar, uh, especially for in the morning. You, you taste a lot of uh, yeah, you taste a lot in this cigar. So I think with a, with more years on it, especially the biggest one has the most potential. Uh, I'm not going to say it's too young. I know uh, some people are making fun of it because I'm, I'm I'm normally saying that about a lot of cigars because I'm I'm trying the cigars when they when they just come out. So that's why they're most of the times they're young. But this one is from January 2017, the box code. So it should taste a little bit better. But a, well, one and a half years. It should taste a little bit better, but it just it it, it isn't. So, um, my end verdict, um, I would buy a box of the big ones, uh, just because of the potential. I don't think there is really a, a, a investment side on it on a short term. Uh, there is on a long term, because yeah, if it has the potential that I think it has, it will be a very good cigar with, with some years on it. And then you would, you would probably sell it for, for some more money, but not a big investment like with the Limitadas or with the regional editions. So um, my advice is buy a box, put it away, and in a couple of years you have a wonderful cigar. And then it's probably worth the money. So um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of it, and uh, I will see you next time.